Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to bring you today's game here on the 2K Sports Network. Presenting to you from County Stadium. Today's game is hosted by the Biohazard. They'll be defending against the Knights. I'm Dan Stevens and joining me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. Here's a look at the lineups for both teams. Peter, take it away. Johnny Unitas and Walter Payton head up the attack for the Knights. But when you think about the great ones, when you take an accounting of them, you're remiss if you don't consider these two pros. But it's just as impressive on the other side. Well, these two players are without compare. They are all pros in every way. They elevate the game to a whole new height. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. Hey, Johnny, let's do this. The Knights will make the selection. What is the call? Give us tails. It is heads. We'll receive. The Biohazard have won the toss and select to receive. Stenerud boots it downfield and we're underway. Laverne took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Biohazard will start the drive at their own 22-yard line. Staff is at the 35, finally stopped at the 46. Bickerstaff has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive core. First and 10, all at the 46 yard Jackson really rifles this pass and it's off incomplete. Laverne showed an excellent release off the line and took the defender long. That would have been a big completion. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, three wide outs in the game. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Laverne just flailed there. Horrible lapse in concentration. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third and ten from your biohazard, 46 yard line. Jackson unloads this to the right sideline and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. That's what I'm talking about. Good.
Hinderstadt gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down with the tight end right. From the Knights, 21 yard line. Vickerstaff gets the call again and heads wide right. Finally stopped at the 11. Nothing to sneeze at with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 37 yards on three carries. Staff picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and nine. Staff carries it for the fourth straight time and gets in for the score. Bickerstaff has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers open up the hole for him. A huge game. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 48 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing, nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Your pile has it to kick off. McAfee, deep to receive. Wazalewski boots the heck out of this one. McAfee is coming out with it. Dragged down at the 27. George McAfee caught the ball in the end zone and had a big run out of it. Saying no to the touchback was a risk, Dan, but it paid off. The Knights send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Chandler has his number called on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Brian Chandler used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Gordon tackles him for a short loss. Willie Gordon would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. I want to see you tighten Third up that side of the line. From the Knights, 27 yards. We gonna be a new thing. Sit down. Obiagelu makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth. Obiagelu shows swivel hips and burst to get in position for the denial. That takes instincts and awareness you, you just can't coach. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Skukanek lines up to punt after the three and out. Skukanek gets the ball and punts it away. Hakeem fields it at the 39. Stopped at 
the 40. James Hakeem didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Biohazard got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Vickerstad is at the 45, 25, breaks the tackle, finally stopped at the two. It'll be first and goal. Man, this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him. First and goal from the Knights, New York. Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to do both right here. Murray tackles him for a short loss. Run by Bickerstaff. Tackle made by Murray. No game on the play. Watch out for the play Second action! From the Knights, three-yard line. Staff picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Third down, two wideouts on the field. From the Knights, one yard. Dude! Shoot! Let's go, D! That's what we stand for! Watch that! Bickerstaff goes right up the middle and gets in for the score. Bickerstaff gets some major yardage off this move. Look here. Here's the point after, and it's good. Wazalewski doesn't get a hold of it very well. McAfee fields the kickoff at the 15. Dragged down at the 37. George McAfee took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. 37 yards. The Knights, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 37-yard line. Chandler takes the handoff and heads out right, stopped at the 40. Second and seven. Ball at the 40 yard. Down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Biohazard enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. Loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Dwayne Saylor read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third and eight from the Knights. 39 yards. Down. the middle and they get the first on third and long gain of 18 yards on the play first down Knights Pete Pios makes the catch with three defenders on his case 
I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. First down and four wideouts in the game. Unitas rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Obi Ajulu knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball pass. Peyton is back in the game, setting up in the backfield. Ismael knocks the missile and tries to get free. Finally stopped at the 13. A pickup of 30 yards on the play. First down, Knights. Johnny Unitas had only one spot where he could put the football, Dan, and that's right where it goes. Now watch how he sneaks this ball past multiple defenders. Yeah, it takes a considerable First amount of poise and confidence to execute a play like this. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Unitas throws a bullet and it's incomplete. Keith Jordan looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and Is ten. this a great drive or what? Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up third down. Gain of six yards on the play. Brady credited with the tackle. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. Third and four. Takes them even farther away from the marker. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Stenerud with a 25 yarder, and he knocks it through the upright. Jan Stenerud has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Stenerud boots the heck out of this one. Lover downs it for a touchback. The biohazard come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Pop Brian makes the nice catch and gets past the markers for a first down. Jackson squeezes that ball through. Great placement. The defender is practically breathing down his neck. Yeah, you have to give credit to the receiver as well, Dan. It takes two guys to make a play like that work. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Watch your side! Watch your side! 23 yard. Can't get away from that thing! Can't get away from it! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
intercepted. Forced out at the 37. Big pick, baby. Big pick. The Knights came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 37-yard line. Unitas makes the pass and it's caught at the 47, 25, 15, 5, touchdown! Pete Pios makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, big play here for a score. Stenerud is back for the point after. Crouch will hold the kick. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. The Knights are kicking off. Number 80 back for the return. Stenerud boots the heck out of this one. Lovern decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Laverne took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Biohazard are looking for some separation before the half, and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Lett gets the sack way back at the 15. Six yards on the play. Two minute warning. My man here is a quarterback's worst. Second and 16 from your pile has 15 yards. Jackson uncorks to the left sideline and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Humphreyon had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Right execution. First down, one man down. Montgomery tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Ray Montgomery came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Ball at the 32 yard line. Sacks him, and the clock will continue to run. Eight yards on the play. Third and 17. Watch the double team over there. 24 yard. Line. Murray backs this one at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. 
Eric Jensen tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. That incompletion cost them some yards, Peter. But you know, even if it even if it had been hauled in, they would still be short. That's right. In those situations, you're just trying to get yards, and if you're lucky, something will develop. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. McAfee gets the punt at the 34. Stopped at the 45. George McAfee did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Knights could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at their 45-yard line. Tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Obiajulu came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Oh. Second and ten. Ball at the 45 yard. Takes it off the toss, and the Knights take their first time up. I hope I didn't make things too hard for you right there, man. Third down, empty backfield. From the Knights, what is it, you Ismael pulls it in right side, and they get the first on third and long. First down, the clock is now at 28. Unitas throws this one right sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver in... Rahib Ismail gains a little separation right off the line. He cuts after a few yards. Ah, but no connection could be made. Incomplete. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ismail grabs the Knights. will take a timeout. That's their second. Rahib Ismail had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Stenerud launches the 51-yard attempt and he knocks it through the uprights. Jan Stenerud really gets the whole ball here and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. Stenerud crushes this one deep. Lovern is coming out with it. Right down at the 24. Lovern took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Biohazard take the field with the clock at 2. Leon Lett hands the offense a huge loss by getting the sack way in the backfield. Check it out. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Biohazard with a small lead, 14 to 13. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Knights should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. 
will pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 45 would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. A 10-yard touchdown for the home team. The Biohazards strike first and go up by seven. Midway through the first, the ball at their own 39. Number 45 is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then he's off to the races. A 58-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Answering right back, the Knights behind by 14. Ismail ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. They close in a little. They are now down by 11. The biohazard, middle of the second. McAfee would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The biohazard leading 14 to 3. Pios came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 63 yard touchdown for the visitors. The Knights climb back into the game, now down by four. Late into the second quarter, number 13 connected with his man on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Coming up on the end of the half, the Knights down by four. Stenerud would get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would, in fact, deliver. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Biohazard are holding on to a lead, 14 to 13. All right, good work, partner. The Knights will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 14 to 13. Let's get down to the field and the action. Four are kicking off. McAfee, deep to receive. Wazalewski kicks it, and the second half is underway. McAfee catches it back at the four. Drag down at the 26. George McAfee received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. 26 yards. The Knights bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Unitas fires this one over the middle and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Johnny Unitas threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and... Well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Second and seven from the Knights. 29 level. Down! Set! You ain't got to nothing! You ain't got to Listen nothing! Up. Bring it back! Bring it back! 34! Miller makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. 11 on the play. First down, Knights. Kevin Miller gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. Well, you can't leave anyone that open in pro football or they will make you pay. That was exactly what the offense Listen wanted. Good job nice. not to even yeah. let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. First down from the eye. Walter Payton tacked on a few more after the catch thanks to a little move that freed him from the D. Beautiful. He was shut out the first half, but with that catch, he gets an opportunity to make up for it here in the third. He ran a great route and gave his quarterback a nice target to throw to. That's textbook. Intercepted. Jukes brought down at the 43. Heimberg. 
Heimberger bags the ball after his teammate tips it his way. That's great coordinated D. Nice pick. I'm not saying they practiced that in preseason, but I did see some volleyball nets around training camp. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like Ooh. that. Vickerstein takes his 10th carry of the game and jukes to a first down. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Tommy Doty had some bad luck here. Unfortunately, I know what that feels like. It is not fun. Man, what a day you're having. What do you expect? Ain't you... First and ten. Vickerstaff takes it for his 11th and takes it upfield. Chase down at the 19. He takes on the play. First down, biohazard. Vickerstaff catches an outbound flight there to get the yardage he wanted. Fantastic play. You have to admire a player with that kind of athletic ability. Yeah, he's also got the kind of field sense to know when to use a move like that. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 132 yards on 11 carries. Jackson zips it to the left sideline, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Dempsey Cartwright had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. They right. move the ball, second and it will be second down. Dude! Sit! Watch run! Watch run! Vickerstaff has his number called on second down, and... Ira Thomas battles the ball carrier's cage there, so much so that the football comes loose. And then since he isn't the one who just got his bell rung, he's alert enough to recover the fumble. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Knights were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 15-yard line. Unitas throws this on a rope. And he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Johnny Unitas is a pro. He knows exactly what his receivers are going to do, and pow, he hits them. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Peyton gets the handoff and barely gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. Unitas throws the pass, and the ball's caught at the 30. Brought down hard at the 36. 16 yards on the play. First down, Knights. Edrin Holt has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down with two tight ends to the right. the toss and runs into traffic breaks free brought down at the 39 Doty was shaken up earlier and we've gotten a report on his condition what did they say Peter the trainers have said that he's suffering from upper leg cramps he's stretching it out on the sideline and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon thanks Peter well, look at this Jacks versus dime they could run it here Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Ismael makes a tough catch, and they get the first on third and long. 
Johnny Unitas is a pro. He knows exactly what his receivers are going to do, and pow, he hits them. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 180 yards and one interception. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. Crosses the field. Stopped at the 46. With the carry. A pickup of four yards on the play. Tuiasa Sopo credited with the tackle. Second and six from the Knights. 46 yarder. Pios this one and is at the 40, brought down at the third. Pete Pios has just one guy on him and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh. <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Well, that sounds pretty good. Right there, he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple of yards. That's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense. They tried to stop him, but just couldn't get it done. Fields penetrates and makes the stop at the 38. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Biohazard with a small lead, 14 to 13. Let's give him no chance for three here, all right? He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Johnny Unitas zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. <laughs> they could be in big trouble. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 212 yards and one touchdown. Peyton takes it off the toss and passes the line. Down at the two. It'll be first and goal. The entire offense clicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. First and goal. Down. Well, we got an excellent running tandem in the backfield, Dan. Watch out for them here. Brady tackles him for a short loss. Stephen Brady got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Peyton carries this off his left tackle and gets the go-ahead touchdown. These short runs are not as easy as they look, Dan. The D knows just where you want to get to, so kudos to this offense for getting there. He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a very nice play. Definitely. Stenneru is back for the point after. Crouch will hold the kick. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Now we got the lead. We ain't going to lose it. Let's go, defense. Let's go. You can stop these guys. The Knights to kick off. Number eight, back for the return. Stenerud boots the heck out of this one. Lover pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. 
The Biohazard had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Doty makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Tommy Doty read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Jackson really rifles this pass. And this cut at the 49. Finally stopped at the 38. Laverne has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. <laughs> First and ten from the Knights. Vickerstaff has his number called on first down and will gain close to six. Bickerstaff played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Staff takes it off the toss and will end up losing a couple. Vincent Murray targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. The 16. Jackson saw the called play was dead in the water, so he scrambled for a nice gain on his own. Okay, people, doubles 50 Z. Third and four. Pompreon catches the heater left sideline, and he's in for the score. the point after and it's good Wazalewski boots it away McAfee takes it at the 11. One man to beat, no one in front of him. Finally stopped at the 14. A 59-yard kick and a 75-yard return. The Knights take the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 14-yard line. Touchdown! Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. That was his second rushing oh, touchdown oh, of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. They're going to go for two here. 
Jensen takes the tackle for a loss and prevents the two-point conversion. Stenerud boots the heck out of this one. Lovern decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Lavern took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the watch on that play. The 14. Seven on the play. Jackson throws a beauty to the right side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Jackson plays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively... This is the call. Straight open, 50XA post. First and 10. Ball at 46 yards. Two. Jensen grabs the fastball over the middle, and the clock continues to wind down. Second down, and the clock is now at 151. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Jackson pulling some beauty deep down the right sideline, and it's caught for the go-ahead touchdown. Jackson launches this baby a long ways. Let's watch the replay. Oh, he's got some arm. Whoa, he stuck that one in there for his second TD, as he has been doing game in and game out. Yeah, he's proven today that he is the man. The Biohazard want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. They're going for two. Flagstaff grabs the dart right sideline and he's in for the two point conversion. This is a nice grab here on a nice route. Check it out. He's in and that's what you call a great play. Wazalewski sends it downfield. McAfee fields the kickoff at the 11. Drag down at the 28. George McAfee made a mediocre kick a little more mediocre with a decent run back there. The Knights start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 1.28. Ismail makes the catch out to the left, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Unitas throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 44. Eventually pushed out. Juan Tuya Sosopo finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. He now has five tackles in the game. First, and First down, two tight ends in the game.
Ja. Second and nine from Two. the Knights. Peyton picked up about seven, and the clock will continue to run. Peyton catches it in the flat and tries to get the Knights take their first time up. He picks up 15 on the play. First down, Knights. Walter Peyton is good. First down, the clock is stopped at 20. Unitas throws this one to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. The last pass was complete to Ismail. Rahib Ismail faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That touchdown will give them the lead late in the game. What a play. You gotta love it. Stenner is back for the point after. Crouch will hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. It's good. Finally! Took way too long to get that lead. Come on, D. Come on. Hold on for us. The Knights are kicking off. Number eight, deep to receive. Stenerud booms one downfield. Lover pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Biohazard will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 14. Hauls him down in the... The Biohazard will take a timeout. That's their second. Big one right here, boys. Straight open, 50 XA posts. Stay Second down. The clock is stopped at eight. 79. Switch. Flat. 15. Jackson really puts some arm behind this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 40 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Biohazard have it off an interception already in the red zone. Javis would snuff out a drive on this one as he's there to recover the fumble. After a red zone stop, the Knights down by one. Peyton found a little opening and that was all he needed. They take their first lead of the game and are now up by six. The Biohazard still in the fourth. Number 13 is back to throw, and when he gets an opportunity to step up, these are the kinds of throws he makes. This was a big one. A 42-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Biohazard of 21 to 20. Peyton would find an opening here, and he was off. A 14-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Knights take the lead again and go up by five. 
Late into the fourth quarter, the Biohazard have the ball at the 50. Number 11 makes him pay here as he's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. A 49-yard touchdown for the home team. Coming up on the end of the game, the Knights down by three. Unitas would find his target on this one. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Knights squeaked out a win, 33 to 29. And now for our 2K Sports player of the game. Johnny Unitas showed us exactly why he's a legend. Well, the quarterback gets credit when his team succeeds and he deserves it. He led his team through the air with a big game passing just look at those yards. His performance made the difference in this one. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, 